Problem cops are supposed to be on Brady lists, so we know if we can trust an officer's word. But the system relies almost entirely on voluntary reporting. That's another problem. There's no real oversight, so no one knows how many more officers belong on the lists. For years, it was an abuse of force kept quiet. Until we got the video and broke the story. Get your hands up right now. Get your hands up right now. A 2017 traffic stop. Glendale officers tasered a man nearly a dozen times in front of his children. Get in front of the car right now. Get in front of the car. Come on. And according to a lawsuit, Officer Matthew Schneider delivered the final taste to his testicles as he was handcuffed, laying face down on the blacktop on a 108 degree day. Stop it. It's one of the most sadistic cases outside experts told us they'd ever seen. With you. But this story isn't about the abuse of force. It's about what happened behind the scenes. What happened when a fellow officer raised concerns about Officer Schneider's truthfulness and the fact Schneider pulled over the car for an alleged blinker violation he could not have seen? For more than a year, sources say the department slow walked an internal investigation. Just looking at the video, all right, I mean, you can't see through that bottom level, all right? Explain to me how the signal, how you could have seen the signal from where you're at. The angle looks horrible, I'm not going to lie. Now, obviously, watching this, yeah, yeah, it's not possible that I saw the, the violation. Schneider was Glendale's leader in arrests. The department loved him for it, literally. In his 2017 review, his supervisor wrote, he has it. He is a bloodhound against criminals and can dig up crime anywhere you put him. Shut up, you're fine. For this incident, in the end, Schneider was disciplined, but just for his use of force. In the final paperwork in his personnel file, there's nothing about the unseen turn signal violation. The gatekeepers to, to these lists are the very people who have incentive to keep names off the list, both police agencies and prosecuting agencies. Here's something else about the Glendale case. The internal affairs investigator actually concluded it was clear that Schneider could not see through the building to observe the traffic violation. Schneider did not have probable cause, but those findings were overturned by four supervisors. Here's what they wrote. The video obtained does not prove or disprove what Schneider observed while the vehicle turned into the parking lot. Schneider has been adamant during the entire investigation that he observed the driver fail to signal. In other words, taking an officer's word over video evidence. It's not surprising. In the trial of Francis Salazar, there was no other evidence other than the officer's word. You never ended up testing that pipe, did you? Did I? No. No. You never ended up fingerprinting that pipe, did you? No. And you don't know if she was under the influence of drugs at that time, do you? No. Further questions, Your Honor? Thank you. The owner of the car even testified at his own risk. I'm the rightful owner of the crack and the pipe. But listen to Prosecutor Elizabeth Lake's closing argument. She told the jury none of that mattered. You have a number of witnesses, all of whom have a reason to lie, have an officer who got on the stand and told you, I went, I confronted her, and she said, I'll take responsibility for her. Point. That's it. End of inquiry. There's no reason to engage in additional investigation. Because the officer said it, quote, that's it. No reason to investigate further. That's the reality of our justice system. That's the scene that plays out every day in courtrooms everywhere. For prosecutors, I mean, they have something called absolute immunity. So a prosecutor could withhold evidence and information in a criminal trial that proves uh, or exonerates the criminal defendant. And that doesn't matter under the law. By matching our Brady database against AZ Post records, we found in Maricopa County alone at least 175 times since 2000 that police and prosecutors waited to put officers on the Brady list and didn't put them on as soon as they knew about credibility issues. The delays usually months, sometimes years. And based on the incomplete data and all the cases never sent to the state board, the 175 times likely a significant undercount. So how many people like Francis and their juries were left in the dark? <laughs> Francis spent 22 months in prison before a judge ordered her early release. Oh, I love you guys. The joy here masking a layer of pain. She missed the birth of a grandchild in the last years of her own mother's life, who died soon after her release. Prosecuting people isn't a game. Putting people in prison is not a game. That's why we have the Constitution. That's why we have Brady. It's why Francis is now suing the police and prosecutors. Because I don't want this to happen to anybody else. I want there to be some kind of change. But the victim of Glendale's abuse of force also sued. Shut up. And so did Clint Peterson, 
I mean, this happens to people every day and they don't do nothing about it. And that's how it's got where it's gotten. His criminal case was dismissed, but it took a full year and eight court hearings. During that time, Clint says officials never turned over the body camera video, never told him about the officer's past. I'm basically guilty until I prove myself innocent. While lawsuits may bring some justice to some individually, the system as a whole remains broken. A system set up, self-run, self-policed, by the same officials who make all the decisions, pick who gets listed and who does not, and decide what lies, crimes, and misconduct get disclosed. You cannot have a nation for the people, by the people, if the government's hiding its own misconduct. So how do we fix this? Right now we're talking with lawmakers, county attorneys, and their opponents in the upcoming election. Then in the coming days, we'll have a full story about what they say and what they plan to do about it. Now a final note, online at abc15.com slash Brady List, we have more reports, more video, more information. We've published our Brady List database and a database of every state police board case since 2000. We believe that's information the public should have. We believe that is full disclosure. I'm investigator Dave Biscobing. Thanks for watching.